Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. The last video we have seen how we can insert student record in Firestore using React Native with TypeScript application that is open in front of you. By using this application, we have inserted a record in this Firebase. The two records we have inserted like this way. So now in this video we are going to learn how we can read the same information or if we insert more information then how we can display those information here in front of you that we are going to learn. For doing that first of all we have to create one more button. So for creating a button just make a copy of it. Now change this to read. I want to read the information. Save this. So this button is also coming. Now I have to change the name of the function I say read info remember and I create one more function top of the this and I say const read info and that arrow function I need for this. Now I need to make a coding for reading the information from Firestore. For that we come here we have a query snapshot and I copy this code from here copy this and I paste here. So I change this code as per the requirement of our application for that you see I have a user here but in my application I have students as a collection so I replace this with the students now get we want to read all the records then we have a arrow function to read all the information we don't want to display size here nothing to display about size now I need uh, for each function to insert my record in a array so I create one array remember so I create a one array I say uh, const or I give the name data equal to the array in this array I want to insert the information that I am reading so in place of console I remove this and this information that is data I want to push here in data dot push this function I want to insert one by one all the records those are available save this you see now after inserting a record in an array I want to add this array in my state variable so I have to create a state variable I say const I say data info then set data info in this I use re use a state and I take here the data type remember that the data type that I am going to insert right now I just give like this and I say array I am not passing any data type right now and if I going I am going to insert this information here in this variable I say set data info and I put data in this so you see that is generating some kind of problem that any information we, we are adding so I say here any first of all I say any so it is also doing some problem of this array so we have done this this information is done any information we are inserting here but because it's a type script we have to specify the data type also so data type of this is fire base fire store dot document data remember document data this is the type of data type that we want to store and this is the array type that we want to store remember that so this is the data type that we have to pass in a TypeScript so this is Firestore Firebase Firestore type document data then array of this we are going to pass now data info have the value so that value we want to display here in console we check we have the information here then I will display this in a flat list so you see so all information is here now I try to click on the read button and this button should display my state variable data info with two records. You see it taking a time and you see this time we have to explain also how we can show this time. So once again I click you see two records I have in my state variable and these two records are also available here same record we have. Now we want to try now we should try to display these records in the flat list so how we can display in flat list for that just in a top down after just scroll down and after the button i create here 
uh, one more uh, you can say view here and I say here the flat list and that flat list uh, I close here and I pass the data in it so I say data equal to data info data info and then I pass key extractor of this is item then arrow function then item dot SID that I want to pass then render item this render item is also uh, we have to pass the value like this item then I take arrow function uh, then I take return value like this then I take view here because I want to display the information in a view format under the view in a root format view like this under this I want to display the text information and I say that is item dot SID first of all then I make copy of for time I say uh, that is S name then I say S course then I do S branch like this I save this this information is available and you see information is also coming and it's saying the scrolling value problem so I set here uh, scroll enable equal to false so that property have to set false so this warning will go on now we have the information I should display this information in rows and column format so uh, before this flat list I go there and I try to uh, display here that it is SID this is SID then I say this is S name means name of the student then we have course then I have branch like this save this and you will see that we have this information now we have to use a style to make some changes here so for that I say first of all I say style equal to styles dot I say list and remember that this setting I have done already here about list like this list row direction and height width I have set already so as I say this list here as here and I save this you will see that it will come in row format then after that I give here also style that is style is styles dot I say list column so list call I have already set this same I copy and I paste in all so these setting I have done already to save the time save this you see SID course name branch so I can set this like this we have a list and we have a list column like that so you know how to design the CSS you can do this now after that in a flat list also we have to do this so I copy this and I need to paste here style and here I say uh, I say row call same I need to copy this row call and I paste here like this so already I have done this and here also I need to say uh, row line this is row line so if I save this you see automatically I will have the information here if I click on read button so I will have the record and those record will display after this you see record is coming here but it record is this record is coming but it's taking a lot of time so we can put here activity indicator also for that I create one state variable to manage the state of the activity so I say const and I say loading set loading by this state variable I will manage the state of boolean type this is I will manage the state of the firestore if we are fetching information from firestore then we will display the activity indicator so activity indicator will display here so I say set loading and I say true it will display activity indicator and first of all first information should be here false so I set the information false like this false like this save this once we start this we make true and after inserting the information so I remove this no need after inserting a data uh, I say set loading to false again you see so it will be false then 
we want to display activity indicator when I click on read button for that uh, here after this so I say here that loading if loading is there then I want to display activity indicator and in this I will give the size first of all I say size is large so size is large I want to give this size then I want to uh, then I remove this then I do this and then I after this view I will set this also save this so like this way so uh, we done this now I need to provide a style also this style equal to styles dot uh, I say loading so loading I have already designed this save this so you will see that in loading we have done this only top margin from the top we, we give the margin here so once now I click on a read button this button will show activity indicator that something is loading from the server you see I click this first of all I refresh this once again once again I refresh it now once again I click on this I say read and you see it it is displaying the information but it not showing the indicator so we check the condition if loading if loading means we have a true value then we show this otherwise we show this on false condition so when I click on a button I make it true then I read information one by one and I click on false so once again I try to do this so it's doing very fast so I do refresh once again I click here and it is not showing the once again we have some problem so I say set loading equal to true so we try to give more time for indicator so as the function is start we give the indicator on and if it finish the task then we make it false now I try to click and you see the indicator is moving and it's showing that data is coming from the server you see so once we click that indicator is coming and we have the information from the server now once again I insert one more record I say 3 ID and I say it is Ankit Varma then I say course is PhD then I say CS then I try to insert this record you see once I insert the record and record is inserted and if I read it once again you see that when we click on this button then it indicator is on and we have a third information also available here so like this way you can insert more record you can fetch more record from the server so like this way we can read the information from firestore also so in this video i try to explain in a very very simple way how to fetch a data from a firestore using the native type script see you in next video for updating and deleting the same records if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.